not that my eye will break in. Good morning, WCHS. Welcome to another edition of WCTV. We've got a great show for you today. We'll uncover the mystery behind in-service days, get in tune with the marching band, and hop across the pond to see exactly what happened on the England trip. Pip, pip, cheerio! Do you ever wonder exactly what happen what teachers do on in-service days? Not really. I'm more concerned about sleeping in and relaxing in my PJs all day. Why? Well, Sky, in-service is an important part of what teachers do here at WCHS. It's a little bit like school for teachers. Luke Shannon took a peek at just what happens on these important days. Uh, in-service days. A free day for students and a work day for teachers. Is this really, though, a work day for teachers to work and listen to speakers? Or is this a free day so they can just sit back and relax and the teachers and students get the break that they really need? Mr. Hunt offered these comments. During in-service days, the teachers go through different sessions or they attend different sessions with some professionals that the district has brought in um, to teach classes or to teach sessions to the teachers so that they know where they're going with their education and the goals of the district. Now you might think Mr. Hunt is in charge of everything, but the in-service days are actually planned by Mrs. Williams, our curriculum director. She decides what will and what is going to happen on that day. Mrs. Williams offered these comments on what she thinks about in-service days. What do we hope to accomplish on an in-service day? I hope that all of us walk away with learning something new that we didn't know prior or better yet just thinking about something that we may have known and forgotten a strategy on how to increase student achievement. Mrs. Williams puts the end service days together but the teachers are the ones who are learning from it. The teachers have to go to these meetings to learn cool new tips and new ways to teach kids in the classroom. Mrs. Sala offered these comments on what she thinks about in-service days. A lot of things from in-service. Uh, I think part of it is getting energized for your next week of class. I noticed that with our last speaker. Um, it, was all, it was all about working on our attitudes and you know, how can you apply that to relationships with... Maybe in-service days are needed for teachers and staff to get work done that they need and for teachers to learn cool new ways to help us learn. This is Luke Shannon reporting for WCTV, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Thanks, Luke. I guess I never really thought about how important those days are. It's great to see the teachers getting excited about their classes. You know what else gets people pumped up? What, Lisa? Marching band. The marching band has been working hard all season to get all of the sports teams and fans excited. Not only do they play at football games and pep assemblies, but they also participate in several competitions. Marching to the beat of the band is flag girl Rachel Stey. One of the revered traditions at Webster City High School has always been the marching band. One of the anticipated secrets every year is the theme. Now the secret's out. Mr. Stey and the band have chosen Zoot Suit Riot as this year's theme. Our Zoot Suit Riot is a dance music from the 1930s and 40s, and that's our theme for our show this year. Uh, we're playing uh, Don't Mean a Thing, and Ain't Got That Swing, uh, the, the theme Zoot Suit Riot, a uh, uh, song called You're the Boss, and we're ending with a jump, jive, and wail. Mr. Sy's right-hand man, Zach Schoberg, is this year's drum major. But what exactly does the drum major do? The drum major's job is to mark time with his feet so that way everybody knows what foot they're supposed to be on on what count, as well as to keep count within the music so everybody knows where they're at when playing. Zach represents the band at contests and competitions. There are about 48 marching band members in the band this year, and they all have a few things they'd like to share about being in marching band. 
Our favorite part about marching band are the snazzy outfits. My favorite part about marching band is early morning practices. The band had their state competition in Fort Dodge on October 10th, earning a Division II rating. They will be performing for their last time tonight, so get out there and enjoy the show. Thanks, Rachel, and congratulations to the marching band on their Division II rating. It's great to see all of the different activities that everyone can get involved in here at WCHS. I know what you mean, Lisa. I mean, how crazy is it that you can even travel to Europe with the school? You can? Sure. Mrs. Garvey took nine students to England and Scotland this summer on the trip of a lifetime. Katie Short went on a mission to find some tea and crumpets and to see what happened on the England trip. Oh, hi. I was just dreaming about places I'd rather be right now. Everyone has a dream of where they'd like to go someday. This summer, a group of lucky students at WCHS got to make their dream come true by participating in the England-Scotland trip with Mrs. Garvey. How easy was it to control the kids with only one other chaperone? Well, actually, I have to be honest with you. I love the other chaperone. Uh, it was my he was my husband. and. Um, it really wasn't difficult at all. They were nine kids and they were absolutely wonderful. Nine girls. My husband was a little concerned about taking nine girls and being the only guy, but he ended up having a great time. They were super. I had no problems. What surprised you most about the trip? Well, it was the third time I've been to England, so I didn't have a lot of surprises, but it was just so much fun watching uh, England through my husband's eyes and the, the girl's eyes. Um, so the trip sounded fun. Mrs. Garvey made sure that her second trip across the pond was educational as well. Here's what some students had to say about what they learned. What was your favorite part about the trip? It would probably have to be getting out on the streets and experiencing a culture that's different from ours and meeting new people. The third annual trip for Mrs. Garvey seemed to be a huge success. If you're interested in a trip to Europe, Make sure to contact Mrs. Garvey for more information. I'm Katie Short reporting for WCTV, and good luck with your travel plans. Thanks, Katie. That sounded like a bloody good time. Sky, I think you might need to touch up on your British accent a bit. It's not very convincing. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. That trip just sounded like a lot of fun. Well, Sky, don't miss your chance to have fun at this Friday night's football game. It's here at home against Clear Lake. Don't forget about the All-State tryouts and the ACT testing this weekend. Good luck to the cross-country teams and the volleyball team who will both be competing at districts on Monday. We'll leave you with a bit of the cross-country team running their hearts out. Join us next week for a super spooky episode of WCTV. Catch, Catch you later! later.